And some interesting breaking news coming in right now. Arvind Kejriwal has reacted to Shanti Bhushan's statement saying he will speak with the AAP founder and put the facts before him. Remember, this is after Shanti Bhushan had made a comment on Abedi joining the BJP, claiming that it was a masterstroke on the side of the party as she would in fact prove a tough contender against Arvind Kejriwal. सवाल ये कितना अनुभवी सदस्य अगर इस तरह की राय रखता है तो जमीन पे जो कैडर है उसमें क्या संदेश जाएगा और ये चुनावी वक्त में क्या पार्टी के लिए नुकसान नहीं इस तरीके का बयान वो तो उनको सोचना चाहिए मैं क्या बताऊँ नहीं है कि नहीं है सर आपको क्या लगता है कोई डैमेज नहीं है और यही दिखाता है की इंटरनल लोकतंत्र है हमारे यहाँ कोई भी अपनी राय रखने के लिए स्वतंत्र है and Ankit Tyagi, our correspondent, now joining us live on the story. Ankit, uh, this is becoming uh, extremely interesting and uh, moreover extremely explosive with Kiran Bedi now joining Shanti Bhushan, uh, claiming it's a master stroke. Prashant Bhushan going against it and now Arvind Kejriwal coming and saying that he will present facts up. Uh, 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 you know, a, a common ploy, in fact, that's used by the AAP, AAP chief consistently that he will provide evidence. He, you know, he'll be making all these tall claims and charges once again. Well, um, as far as Shanti Bhushan is concerned, uh, as you heard in the bite, Arvind Kejriwal uh, very clearly saying that he should have thought before uh, he spoke uh, whether this is going to create some sort of an ambiguity as far as uh, the voters of our Aadmi Party is concerned. You see, uh, Shanti Bhushan, uh, although uh, uh, I also spoke to him, he said that he doesn't support the BJP, but uh, he said Kiran Bedi is as efficient as Arvind Kejriwal. Well, uh, he is a founder member of uh, the Awadni party and the problem that the party will now uh, face is that there will be many who, uh, with, who are, uh, uh, you know, still not uh, the fence sitters, those who have not made up their mind who they want to vote for. They will be confused whether they should wait, vote for Arvind Kejriwal or Kiran Bedi. This is the problem that the party would be facing. That is why very quickly they got uh, uh, Shanti Bhushan's own son and Amadni party leader Prashant Bhushan to come out and uh, disagree with his statement. Prashant Bhushan in fact came out and said that he does not agree with his father. Also said that uh, uh, Kiran Bedi is an opportunist. So, um, you know, a very interesting battle they are going on. And if you look in the larger context of the Delhi elections, it seems all the political parties, be it BJP, be it Amadni party, apart from dealing with each other, they also have to deal with the internal problems that they have. There is dissent in the BJP and with Shanti Bhushan coming out and saying Kiran Bedi is, will be a good chief minister, problems will be there for Amadni party as well. Ankit, more importantly, uh, how, how does this bode well for the AAP, you know, considering because that there have been several hiccups and, you know, we're, we're just very, a couple of days shy of uh, the crucial Delhi elections that are all set to take place. Yesterday, they cancelled a couple of tickets. Even earlier, you had, you know, you know a, a host of, of uh, prominent leaders that were either associated with the party or party members that are, in fact, are defecting to other parties. And now you have Shanti Bhushan, one of the prime founders of the AAP, coming out and saying that Kiran Bedi is a strong contender for Kejriwal. So no matter what, you know, the party is attempting to put up a brave face and, you know, sort of, you know, have present this image, they can't help but be red-faced by something or the other that's taking place every day. This is the nature of the politics now. Of course, people, uh, this election would be remembered for the turncoats. Right. Not only from the Ahmadni party, but there are many from the BJP, those who have joined the Ahmadni party, they've gone to Congress. Krishna Tirath of the Congress has gone to BJP. So there are many people, those who are, uh, you know, crossing the fences as far as the parties are concerned. But one thing is, uh, you're right, Sanjana, that this is not going to augur well for the party. Uh, apart from, you know, battling your opponent, there is also problems that you will have to battle within. There will be people, those who will come up and ask this question about why did Shanti Bhushan oppose you. So all these things will have to be fought as far as the public perception is concerned. And remember, the battle uh, for the election would be more uh, as far as the public perception is there. Until and unless Ahmadni party would be able to come out and say that, uh, uh, satisfy people that everything is well within their own party, it will be difficult for them to market themselves as a serious force. So apart from that, it also gives some ammunition uh, to the BJP and to the opposition to attack the Ahmadni party and their founder with.